Hi, welcome to my video. Sorry I haven't been around. I put a pin up um, comment in the comment section on the last video uh, just to say sorry, love you all, appreciate you all. And uh, Theodore hasn't been feeling himself lately for about a week um, leading up to the last couple of days of him being really violently uh, sick. Uh, so fun, <laughs> but he's doing a lot better today. It's as if his body's cleared out whatever it was that his body was reacting to, to give, um, to give him the temperature, the, the grumpiness, the not, the not himselfness. And so uh, it's been a bit hands-on between that and work. Uh, so being octopus, uh, mummy, uh, with everything, washing, food, whatever, entertainment, all different hands juggling all different roles. So just to say I love and appreciate you all and I'm reading the comments as and when I can and I'll start replying to them as soon as I possibly can. But this, albeit late, is the reading for the 8th of April 2021. Um, now let's see, we've got on the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck and you can see here this King of Swords, you can nearly see, now you can see. Um, it's strategic, um, it has everything placed out uh, ready um, to utilize this planning and strategy going in here. Now from the stage of the collective, the so-called powers that be, a lot of the plans are going awry. And this is the indoctrination that we've had of, um, of it just has to be that way. They've always been this powerful when actually um, really not so long ago in the grand scheme of things in America in particular, there were people who, um, warned uh, the people who built up the very things that many Americans so rightfully so are proud of. Um, they are the ones that warned against this kind of tyranny and this kind of complacency amongst the people of it is what it is in that it just has to be this way. Um, all the other options just don't seem feasible, even though um, in its young history, as we know it, um, in its young history of you know, it's, a, it's amazing things have been achieved for good and bad of the control of the people there or the freedom of the people there. And so this is happening. And when I say a lot of the plans are going awry, some of them are being um, made sacrificial goats for sure today. So look out for that today, tomorrow, you know, over the next period of time. Um, some of them uh, knew they were in for this and others are going to get a bit of a shock. And I feel, um, I saw uh, a few of them speaking out um, in terror, you know, of losing uh, what they've been given as the gift uh, for working for um, the control and oppression sector of this realm um, and for the life. And so look out for that. That's going to be really interesting. Um, on the other hand, when I say they're going awry, that does not mean necessarily a good thing. Um, I feel like, um, like we see many of the sectors of the community um, buckling down, even when more and more proofs are coming out, RE the muzzles, RE the, um, the, the, the jab, and RE um, the, the, uh, the biggest up pay that's been going on during this time. And, who's behind what and all of the evidence that is so apparent now uh, you know you don't have to be psychic you don't have to be that clever to see it um they they get to a point where instead of facing whatever it is inside of them that allowed them to be taken on that tangent trusting the plan you know and is it being uh, it, it, it's biblical it's okay this is meant to be it, it's you see them buckling down and going even harder in the paint into the the narrative that they've been claiming and even being abusive to others who have been awake and aware to what's going on and fighting for their freedoms um the, the so where the plans are going awry we're dealing with psychopaths as above so below and so we i feel are at a point in time a point in the cycle that you realize so many generations down this kind of um this kind of imbalance towards um a, such uh low frequency um darkness not the good darkness low frequency darkness generation after generation 
that has an effect. Chakras get spun out, no matter what species they are. And so uh, you, you see that, you know, with the, they are the bloodlines, yes, of various different um, leaders that came from this hijack uh, that we've been dealing with, but they are um, not even a shadow or even a reflection of even the dark greatness that their bloodline once held. And so we're dealing with that, and, and these are the people that are um, making the decisions and controlling the life, and, and there's a strategy behind it. But even with the best of strategies, where these beings that hide in the shadows, that puppet these figures that then mandate the things, look, make into law the things that control and oppress us on their behalf, um, they are having to deal with generations down of these puppet bloodlines. And so they are dealing with people who, for all the strategy in the world, are making big mistakes. And for us, sometimes that's a breakthrough. It allows other people to see exactly what's been going on. And sometimes, uh, including this time, it feels like oh, it's more to deal with because instead of them taking the foot off the accelerator, they, they put it down on the accelerator and think, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, let's go for this now. And so we're seeing that. And we're, therefore, we're seeing that in the below, as the above, above, so below, there are people that are um, quite happy to and willing to and, and absolutely oblivious to them continuously staying out of balance in this um, low frequency. And so it, it is going to take, um, and they're around and they, they come into life, you know, certain triggers might be getting set off through frequency um, that is, that is uh, resonant with the, the predominant frequency that these people are holding, that these people are functioning at. And so we are witness to that. And we do need to be the king of swords for ourselves uh, to be real strategists, to not just accept what comes down the line and through the pipe to us, but to actually get ahead of this, get ahead of these people, be brave enough to speak out on our intuition, to be brave enough to speak out that even the most seemingly sci-fi ludicrous plans have actually, which most of have come to pass, that people like myself have been saying, actually just speak them out anyway, because those who can hear it, those who aren't deaf and dumb to it already, then, you know, they, they will, and we need to. And so the King of Swords does have this bravery, it does have the energy of um, this planner, the intellectual, the strategist, and and but is very much still in the energy I'm feeling today, able to be in the lofty heights of thought, of planning, of intellect, of wisdom, um, very much able to keep a foot grounded too, to really see, okay, so this sci-fi like reality that I'm picking up on is going to have this kind of effect in the community, in the people around me, within me even. And so the, this, this getting ahead of it, the King of Swords energy doesn't just um, accept. Yes, can roll with the punches and create changes to any plan like a morpho, but at the same time, he, he likes to be ahead of it. He likes to, to have foresight within any given situation. And so this is where we do need to take this kind of sovereignty and divinity today and all days uh, to stand up and um, and not be um, drawn in to the distractions, drawn into uh, the weak places that will not lift us up and feed us, but will um, facilitate for further thinking and to get ahead, foresight, foreknowing, um, and acting appropriately. On the bottom of the other deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. This is coming up in personal readings so much too, and in the general readings. Um, and so this is where we really are separating uh, worlds. We're separating realities. As far as the, the wider stage goes, I've been picking up on this this whole time um, of this separation of, of um, realms, of dimension, in the, 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 the 
drastic difference um, between the frequencies held amongst people and the predominant frequencies that are coming up and are being held. Um, and so this is where we are seeing this sort of rip, this tear um, in time. And at the same time, we're, we're speeding up in what is felt as time in this realm in particular. And so there is this, there is this um, crack, you know, I've forgotten what you call it on the ground when the ground, something happens, the vibrations, the plates move and the crack goes through the road, you know, you'd see it on a movie, they can all dramatic and the, the, the space in between the crack opening up is getting wider and wider. Now, as far as um, individual lives go, as far as your lives go, this is where um, this is where we do take it seriously to keep our frequency up. Pressures are getting high in people's individual lives. Um, I know that I'm feeling that with the boys, the homeschooling them, trying to build a business, trying to earn enough to give them not just enough, but abundance and, and some self sustainability. That's in my plan. And that's all I work for. Um, there's this there's this pressure pot that we are dealing with. And so this is a difficult um, tear. This is a difficult play thing to juggle. And we are juggling it because uh, un unfortunately, there is many people within the same family units, within the same relationships um, that are literally uh, on either side of the crack. They're not on one side of the crack together. And this makes it difficult. We've got to be real. And yes, we've got to build each other up with this love and laughter. And I can laugh in the most weird and dark moments I can find some kind of laughter and I do that real quick in general I got good at that um but that's not to say that so I recognize the wisdom in doing that and keeping my frequency high but we can't be false led into this false light into this all love and light without being brave enough and in enough balance and wisdom to be able to see the realities also. And so these pressures are being felt um, between these, these worlds, these cracks, these frequencies, dimensions, however you uh, affiliate with it, 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 there's this widening of the gap. Um, and this is really, uh, it, 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 I look at it, I'm looking at it in awe right now because it's so fantastical. It's so movie like. It's so out there. It's so in your face. Um, and so there are these things that we need to get deeper in considering the potentials of what really is happening, the potentials of what frequency actually really can do and, and what what it can create. And really strip ourselves bare of the indoctrinations as individuals regarding everything, weather, um, poisons, uh, the, what they've really been getting up to, most of all, organized religion. I know that, that if I could just hit the right note for that, that would just be a thread pulling from the jumper and that would just obliterate what is going on right now. Um, what came in with organized religion, in particular Christianity, then branching off, what actually came in with there, what that to me is one of the key moments of hijack of this realm. Um, something that, you know, embedded itself here during Sumerian times and then sort of embedding itself and getting strong enough in its roots within this realm. Uh, as Christianity was being made into the doctrine that it is right now, the cult, um, there's, there's, there's a lot happened there. And we get, we're taught the history from their perspective predominantly. And so, of course, we have been, so that's the thread that would really pull. Uh, I was spoke to him briefly about this and he, he was, saying it's the past we need to look back at and it is and I've kept saying this and then there's these key moments we need to look at you know during the times I've just mentioned during the wars the key aspects of what was really going on it wasn't about the indoctrination of being proud about the soldiers and protecting the country no they were manipulated plans brought to the fore for very different reasons 
than the people like my granddad thought they were fighting for. Uh, so there's a lot in just the two of pentacles um, and it's screaming, screaming out at me. And so we've got the nine of wands as the first card. So this is speaking about they're taking into account here the stars. They're looking at the above and they've got the chart. They've got the wands set out there around them circle there's a lot of magic within a circle and there's a lot can be determined within a circle just look at a sundial there's so much that can be determined from that that can then have an effect on how you go forward the discernment of taking a pause taking into account everything around you above you below you around you within you without you all of the aspects of, of the directions that it comes in. And this is where the circle comes in handy. You know, you, you put it all out there to see, to be able to graph, to chart it. This has got a lot to do with astrology. I always refer people to Maroon with two, um, uh, and most of all, the Leo King, uh, as for honesty, integrity, and just really a, a fantastic gift and grasp of, of the planets, of looking through the lens of the planets, of really knowing them as beings in themselves and, and really being able to pick up on uh, the frequency and the, the interactions like us. I'm a different person to one person. I have a different type of friendship. I'm a very different person, being the same person, but a very different person in the perspective of my children's eyes. And that goes on and on and on. And so this is where he is able to look at that and I watch him and I see him work and he's able to do that even with um, seeing how the different planets and they're doing that in this card. So I would, I would tell you, you get a lot of information going over to his latest video um, where he knows he can depict through the lenses of the planets of what the perception of that other planet that it's interacting with in that certain lineup. I haven't got the lingo I wish I had. I haven't got time yet to learn. I know I will. Um, and so I don't do it justice, but I can see what he's doing. And psychically, he picks up on the things I'm picking up on. And so it, 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 it's very impactful to be able to really look at the as above, so below. Um, to look past even the glass ceiling that we're encouraged to look at and at only being politics and religion um, or the, the Hollywood, you know, Instagram models, those glass ceilings that are there to stop us looking further uh, and looking deeper, you know, when, when it comes to what is on the ground. We should know what's going on under our ground. We should know where, why and how big and what is exactly going on in these spaces under the ground. We should be in connection and enough with our ancestral knowledge um, to know uh, when we came in into this realm and how, and how we um, know what the uh, pre-Christian uh, Vikings knew very, very well in that, you know, the, 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 and the pagans, the witches alike, I don't even like calling them that. I think that they're such labeled terms, but, um, free to understand and be closer to than we are now anyway of how the energy transference works in depth of, of going into these different realms, the nine realms. And of course, this is the nine of wands. So from this card, I'm just saying we really do need to get serious about going on vision quests, about looking deeper, looking higher, looking further out from us um, to start being really discerning about every step we take. And I really feel that there's something coming in today, being the eighth, that is going to um, increase the need for us to be super discerning and be, and then to be willing to take the action um, for, for what our intuition guides us uh, to take action on and what we really need to be turning away from and not giving any flame to. Uh, so it feels like we're going into um, a further darkness, to be honest. Um, and from this, there's huge amounts of growth. From this, we get the opportunity to actually fulfill what I feel many of us are here to fulfill, um, to liberate. And so uh, that's not to say in a negative way, it's just to say I can feel that today and I can feel it coming over the next few weeks. 
And so we have the magician card, major arcana to clarify, I'll try and speed up for this, um, to clarify the nine of wands. So he's holding a wand in his hands. And so this would, uh, the nine and the one, uh, but having the ability to know um, uh, that you have the tools on the table and being in this further connection with all of the knowledge that I've just spoken about, um, gives you the capacity to really embody and really get serious about embodying the energy of the magician and that you have powers that you haven't even tapped into yet. Me too. Um, and we need to get more and more serious and dynamic about really making this a part of who we are now as our ancestors very much more than we do now did. Uh, so this is where we really do need to take this seriously, to really um, dig deep into what our gifts are, what we have um, a great skill set for, and use them both in our individual lives, uh, having an effect on those around us, therefore the wider community, but also for us to actually get serious about um, putting out certain frequencies, certain spells to start to bind this up and to start to reveal this um, that, that is going on right now. Um, it, it's, it's time for us to stand in this um, knowledge, power and, and sovereignty and skill set of the magician. So we've got as the next card, the High Priestess in reverse. So Major Arcana in the upright, you can see this is a motherly <clears throat> divine feminine figure who is very much about fertility, abundance, um, uh, beauty, but also about what is hidden underneath. Now in the reverse, this is part of the darkness that I feel in that um, one huge aspect that would come from looking back far enough um, and, and past the glass ceilings that are put there through the history books, through the politics, um, through the limitations of what we are now even allowed to think. This is why we need to take action now because even that is being limited more and more and more over the next few weeks, even the freedom to think free thoughts, which is our one of our huge direct connections to other realms, to other times uh, where we're back in the past connecting ourselves to our own knowledge, um, our own DNA lines. And so this is where we, um, this is where we see that that it is important that we take into consideration uh, one of the things I've spoken about a lot, and that was the divine feminine um, being put to sleep, in particular during one of those key points, being in particular the um, uh, pre Christian coming into Christian age, and where it was done with violence, it was done with fear. Uh, just like similar to with that we are facing now, tyrannical indoctrination um, and limitation of thought. And so there is so much more um, to be revealed by us um, looking at that key point in time and looking at it honestly and seriously questioning why just this indoctrination still continues that, you know, well, you've got to protect people's rights to religion. Oh, not if it's the biggest lie ever told, and not if it has created the very matrix and systems that we live under now. Um, it, 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 we can't be politically correct about this anymore, because I just know that these are key aspects, key times that this being a, a MK Ultra, you know, point one, it, it's... It, it's important and I know that this would just unravel things and change things so quickly um, for us to know the truths. Uh, I've really been feeling uh, there was hidden bones I keep talking about over and over, up and down, you know, on and off. Um, these bones, the, the earth shaking, the divine feminine energy shaking these bones to the surface. I am um, manifesting it so to be and uh, and 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 really hope that it does in that i know that these um people like to they they know the power of the truth and so that it's not that it's to do particularly too much with one or two or individuals it's more about what that individual could unravel even after um the physical death in that those bones and the DNA that we have now, that that will be and is the vessel, the womb, the holy grail. 
Um, and they've tried to put this out there, even in the likes of, you know, the, the, the poor interpretation of the film, the, the Da Vinci Code. And they do that so that then when I bring things up like this, people think it's too far out there. But I just know. Um, and then knowing people in the know um, and speaking to them and telling them what I can see and then confirming it, it's... Um, that's powerful and it's there and it's hidden and the high priestess is in the hidden she's the occult she's the dark womb you know um it's not totally apparent you have to go seeking it and so there's this energy there that that i just feel this coming up uh, very much so and i don't know if this has got anything to do in the future regarding the crack in the ground uh, that that breaks open a road uh, that goes under a building. I've seen that. I just can't place as to what that is in correlation to. Um, so these are the huge secrets that have been hidden that literally through uh, one person just having been alive and just being able to be traced back and see the secrecy around this person would absolutely unravel the the biggest secret about the divine feminine that the divine feminine was actively taken out of her role um the divine feminine and therefore the divine masculine within individuals that weren't doing the doing um also have that stripped of them because the degrading of the mother degrades the son and and it goes on and on and uh, you know through the spiritual aspects emotional aspects physical aspects and this is where we see ourselves today uh with the huge amount of limitation and um very you know early throughout our history discrimination and torture of women and that continues and by doing that it's not the sexist issue that has become another weaponized tool, another distraction to hide from an even greater, much more simple truth that it's got nothing to even do with sexuality. These people in the know, in the hidden, have enough knowledge to know that if you degrade both the physical woman, um, if you um, do that, then you degrade the physical man. Each man was carried in a womb by a woman. So either way, you're, you're stripping them from that uh, divinity and reverence for that aspect, that energy of life. And within the divinities within each one of us that we have the capacity to hold in balance the divine feminine, divine masculine, by taking out the rug of the divine feminine that is in support and exaltation of the creation of a flower of the of the divine masculine, uh, you take out both, you, you strip both of their full capacity, their full powers. And so this is where, again, you've got to look so deep. Um, and by doing this, this the, the certain keys that if we could just reach them and pull the right string in the jumper, pull the right bit of wool in the jumper, it all comes unraveling, it all comes spiraling out. Um, now, the Five of Wands uh, clarifies that card. And so this is where, you know, um, I think we've got to get out of the indoctrination of, you know, there'll, there'll be a date and the, the, it's the indoctrination of the rapture, isn't it? And that's not to say this two of pentacles isn't showing me so, something similar to that where frequencies absolutely rip um, into separate dimensions. It's a crossroads, magical crossroads are very, very strong um, uh, and very, very worthy of caution and, you know, ambition to get there because once you make the choice in the direction, it's very powerful when you're doing it on a ley line, not a crossroads, there's, there's power in that. And so we're seeing the five of wands clarifying the high priestess in reverse. And this is where um, the, the conflict is the rub, a bit like there's, there's, there's friction when you're trying to create a fire with metal and flint. You know, you, you, the, you have to cause that friction. Sparks have to fly um, and then the creation is born. That can sustain life uh, for humans in particular. You can cook on it. You can um, heat yourself with it. You can see with it. And so there's, there's from these sparks of, of conflict. And this is where we would see by digging deep into these things, whether it's within our own individual lives, our own deep, deep truths, um, our own higher thoughts, upper thoughts, um, or whether it is spreading that out to 
uh, the wider stage of oppression and control and looking so deeply and seriously and being brave enough to speak out about it. And no matter how far out there it seems, and it only seems far out there because we've been indoctrinated to feel that way, um, there will be conflict. People will lose their shit. And I feel like I can I, I can just feel people losing their shit now. And it's, you know, of, of even at people who are just trying to reveal truth, these people are so now um, hemmed in and so stitched on. There's been soul stitching happening. And this is what I'm saying that not only are souls being ripped away, which I've mentioned, and I mentioned before all of this happened, that part of that job would do that, and I'm feeling that deeply, and that is traumatic to feel um, and see in vision, where souls are separating, and I mentioned this, now I'm starting to hear other people mentioning it, and so that me, I know that I'm onto something there. And so when, when you know, two or more people are, are picking up on it, and I can, with discernment, see truth in what they're saying, um we're seeing that actually we by digging even for these truths you know there there would be and will be um people losing their shit there will be armageddon type people energies running around because these systems these beings that especially brought in christianity then following the other organized religions have been soul stitching for a very long time. Um, and so you, we would see even Hollywood has learned how to do it in the hidden and the occult, in the lower frequency side of things. And so they've been soul stitching people to people like the Pope, um, people like the characters in the Bible, people like the, um, the, the Hollywood actors and actresses, people like the Instagram, you know, what do you call them, influencers. Um, and so what I'm saying is we just need to get very real, but be brave enough to face it, that there are many people that will feel like they are physically being torn apart like this two of pentacles, physically torn apart, screaming pain. Um, by having the fabric of everything they've been indoctrinated to believe uh, ripped out from them. And we're going to see the, the knock-on effects of that. And I feel like many of us are starting to notice that. And we can't just have readings. I could have many more subscribers, I think, if I came on and just said, it's okay, it's biblical. Um, we're gonna, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And so are we just happy to repeat the same script? Is that what we're saying? But I can't do that with the integrity that I always try and put out there, uh, that my granddad taught me, the honesty. I can't do that. We have to be able to, particularly in being genuine, that I want to liberate people within this realm, this beautiful realm. I want to have my children have a much more safe and much more balanced future than they face right now. Um, so I mean that I want to cause change and we're not going to do that. That's what I'm saying by not being able to be aware of and in discussion and bring light to um, the conflicts, the things that we're seeing, the way that people, we, the things that we see people reacting or like myself, see in the future, for, for want of a better word, um, happening or them reacting in a certain way. Uh, because it's with this that then we can turn this high priestess in her rightful place in the upright. Um, but like birth in pains, this, we can't make change by doing some of the biggest and most clever psyopses of trust the plan. There has to be a time when we stand in our own divine feminine and claim back um, that heritage of that truth of what our own divine feminine and therefore divine masculine uh, used to be able to create within us and attain on the outside of us. And so this is where we do need to be brave enough to do this. Now, in your individual lives, sorry, I'm going on, but it's a very big energy day. Um, in your individual lives, this is where you're being called. The, the conflict is going to be there, believe me. Um, but the fact that you're still trying to hide who you really are or the changes that you felt in, in relationships, in family units, in business partnerships, um, the fear of the conflict and not looking and um, taking your torch, taking your light with that magician card with his wand there 
into the darkness of uh, particularly where your divine feminine lies um, uh, and seeing why what changes you've been avoiding making and why you need to make them um, this is we're being called upon this a lot of us are feeling the energy intensely in this today um, and for the rest of the week as far as I can see and so the last cards are the king of wands and so this is the divine masculine energy there is a lot of fire in this and this is where we are being held to the fire uh, what do we do do we pick up the staff and, and go further into the darkness with it to bring light into the darkness um, or are we going to um, melt? Are we going to be melts? And this is part of the separation also. We see warriors with their torches, with their wands, light in the way. And we also see melts, literally melting in front of the fire. I'm melting. You know, it's ridiculous, but it is. And so this is this king of wands is a leader energy, you know, the people's king energy. And so you do have a natural magnetism to you. But this magnetism is intensified when you stand in your truth, when you're brave. It is a king at the end of the day. This king of wands comes in um, with hot energy, with fire, with passion when needed and can then be just as quickly out of your life again. Um, and so this is this is an energy that we need to take up on because it feels like if we don't take up on it and give air to this wand, give air to this king of wands, uh, fire to, to make it um, brighter, to burn stronger and not being afraid of the flame of the heat um, with the heat that you'll attract from the people around you and the heat that you might attract from the wider stage. Um, this energy feels passing and it goes back to what's happening in the planets there's a window of opportunity here particularly with the two of pentacles that keeps coming up um and so we've got the seven of cups to clarify the king of wands and this is where um there's so much to look at there's so much um overall emotions here there's so many things that we, we are, are being um, funneled into being distracted towards, attracted to. Um, and we need to look past that right at the castle right now, I feel, um, and, and take our passions right to the head of the snake to dig deep um, and to look past the illusions, the, the, the maybes that are being projected in front of us by ourselves, by the people around us, and for definite uh, by the... Uh, so-called powers that be that should not be any longer and so that's the reading long reading but you know big energies and it's time to stop messing um energies uh today so and i haven't seen you all for a while so i hope you appreciate that i hope you can take up on those energies and run with them and 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 dig deep let me know what you're thinking let me know what came up in your mind as i was reading to you today um, let's help each other dig deeper. Let's help each other put jigsaw puzzles together and be brave enough to stand and, and, and take the heat and not melt in front of said fire. Much love, stay balanced and stay whole. Remember, uh, and thank you to all of the new clients. I appreciate you all. Um, if you want a personal reading, spiritual coaching, or some energy work sessions, which are super cool, um, you can get in touch with me at truedivinemedia at gmail.com. Uh, look in the description. Any likes, shares, subscribes, follows. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm pushing business. Uh, I need to do that now. Um, and so your help, your support is absolutely um, priceless to me. I love you all. Much balance and much wholeness. Mwah.